everyone. Welcome to JS School. Today in this session, we'll be discussing about mains concept mapping, approach to mains. And in order to discuss this, we'll take help of previous year question, right? So in this particular session, our focus is on, uh, on the discussion of disaster management. And on the basis of previous year question, we'll try to discuss how one should be uh, approaching this particular subject of disaster management, right? What kind of concepts one should focus on? What kind of information uh, is needed in order to address the questions of disaster management, right? So that uh, will be the focus in this particular video. So let us start with the discussion. So in order to discuss this approach to mains, uh, we will be discussing a question of 2021's mains examination. And that question is, describe the various causes and effects of landslide. Mention the important components of the national landslide risk management strategy. Right. So this question is on landslide. Landslide is one of the disasters that uh, occurs in India. And we are supposed to discuss what are the causes of landslide, what are the effects of landslide, and also there is one uh, one initiative taken by government of India, and that is National Landslide Risk Miti uh, Management Strategy, National Landslide Risk Management Strategy, which was initiated in 2016. What are the important components of this particular initiative? Right. So now. In order to tackle this particular question, one should be aware of uh, the causes as well as effects of landslide, right? Not only for landslide. Landslide here, we are just discussing as an example. One should be aware of various causes and effects of different disasters to which India is vulnerable to, right? So, for example, for example, what is the concept involved in this particular question? In this question, concept is of is of uh, disasters, their causes and effects, their causes and effects, right? So here example we are taking is of landslide because question that was asked in 2021 was on landslides, right? So uh, one should be aware of uh, various causes and effects of different disasters uh, occurring in India. So what are the causes of landslide? So there are many causes of landslide in India. For example, earthquake, earthquake and volcanic eruptions. But in India, it is especially earthquake. In India, it is especially earthquake. There are earthquake triggered landslides. Uh, to which especially Himalayan region and northeastern region is vulnerable, right? So these kind of landslides, uh, earthquake triggered landslides occur in Himalayas as well as in northeastern region. Second is heavy rainfall, heavy rainfall. So due to heavy rainfall also landslides occur and this kind of uh, disaster of landslide due to heavy rainfall primarily occurs in Western Ghats region, right? Then, then construction activity, construction activities. So these kind of activities are primarily making the region of Northeast vulnerable to landslide, not Northeast only, but uh, these days we are seeing, we are able to see more landslide instances in northeastern region because of development activities, construction activities that are going on in that particular area, right? Then uh, next is deforestation, deforestation and mining activities. Deforestation and mining activities are also considered as causes of landslide. And one more you can write is glacial movements. Glacial movements may also trigger, may also trigger landslide, right? So these are the causes of landslide 
uh, that one should be aware of right so here as we have already discussed landslide is near an example uh, one should be aware of different causes of various disasters occurring in india right so that is first part but at the same time we are also supposed to discuss about the effects of landslide so what are the effects of landslide so these are the causes now effects so effects now first and the most important effect is loss of life loss of life right then damage to to infrastructure damage to infrastructure right then uh, economic activities are also affected economic activities like let's say transportation economic activities are also affected right these are more uh, most visible impacts of landslide then we can even talk about changes in the river course changes in the river course right and due to these uh, due to change in the river river course we may also see instances of flooding flooding right so flooding may also be the consequence of landslide right then uh, aesthetic aesthetics of region will be affected so these are the consequences these are the effects uh, that we can highlight of landslide right so clearly uh, two terms were mentioned causes and effects so we have discussed about the causes and effects of landslide right and then uh, the additional part is also there in this particular question wherein we are supposed to discuss about the important components important components of uh, of national landslide risk management strategy given in 2016 right so concept here involved a uh, concept involved here is uh, is a disaster its causes as well as effects right so you should be aware of at least let's say uh, disasters to which india is vulnerable to be it earthquake be it uh, be it uh, let's say flooding droughts cyclones tsunami uh, heat waves cold wave conditions causes of those uh, those disasters and what are the consequences of those disasters you should be aware of right so that is uh, the concept involved in this particular in this particular question of 2021 now what is the answer how we can approach answer of this particular question so as we have already discussed in the introductory part in the introductory part we can define landslide because landslide is a keyword in this particular context so we can define landslide so what is landslide landslide is rapid movement of large mass of bedrocks down the slope right it is rapid movement of large mass of bedrocks along the slope that movement is called as a landslide right and in india uh, especially himalayan region northeastern region and region of western ghats is vulnerable to landslides right so that you can highlight uh, in that particular in that particular introductory part then in the body part of the answer in the body part of the answer uh, landslide firstly we'll talk about landslide and its causes which we have already discussed secondly landslides and their effects again these two parts we have already discussed right so uh, landslide causes and effects so that is first part then in the second part we will discuss about important components important components of national landslide risk management strategy national landslide risk management strategy so this strategy was given in uh, 2016 by uh, by the task force appointed under 
एनडीए में एनडीए में अपॉइंटेड टास्क फोर्स दैट टास्क फोर्स वॉज सब डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस ग्रुप्स एंड दो ग्रुप्स केम अप विथ इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ ऑफ लैंड स्लाइड मैनेजमेंट लैंड स्लाइड रिस्क मैनेजमेंट इन इंडिया राइट सो वॉट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट फर्स्ट इज लैंड स्लाइड हजार्ड जोनेशन फर्स्ट इज लैंड स्लाइड हजार्ड जोनेशन दैट मीन्स वी शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ रीजन इन विच लैंड स्लाइड मे ऑकर राइट सो दैट इज फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रैटेजी सेकेंड इज लैंड स्लाइड मॉनिटरिंग एंड अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम लैंड स्लाइड मॉनिटरिंग एंड अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम Early warning system. That is the second component, right? So we should monitor uh, for various clues that we may receive for landslide. It may be in the form of huge rainfall. It may be in the form of uh, earthquake, which um, which might have led to uh, loosening up of bedrock, which may trigger landslide. Those kind of instances, those kind of clues, we should look for. And on the basis of these clues. we should be able to provide early warning to the region or to the people living in vulnerable region right so that is second third is awareness generation awareness generation right so uh, one of the important cause that we have discussed for landslide is uh, is earthquake right so right now we don't we don't have a mechanism we are we uh, we are not able to predict earthquakes so if earthquakes we are not able to predict obviously we won't be able to predict earthquake triggered landslide as well and that's why uh, we should make sure that on the basis of on the basis of hazard zonation mapping uh, people living in hazardous region uh, people living in vulnerable regions should be made aware about their vulnerability so that the developmental activities that they carry out on their own will be according with the region in which they are living and that's why awareness generation is important right so that is third fourth is capacity building and training capacity building and training capacity building and training of stakeholders of stakeholders right so this is an important component for any disaster we need to make sure that uh, uh, the stakeholders involved be it uh, local administration be it ndrf teams so we uh, we need to make sure that they are trained they are properly trained and they have the capacity to handle Uh, various phases of disaster in this case landslide right then next is preparation of mountain zone regulation and policies preparation of mountain zone regulation regulations and policies right because in this particular area uh, which is vulnerable to uh, vulnerable to landslide so it is mountainous region which is primarily vulnerable to landslide so we should have proper uh, proper uh, planning of that particular let's say town planning in that particular region we should have uh, enforcement of building codes in that particular region right so uh, there should be separate building codes for regions vulnerable to landslide right and then last is special purpose vehicle for landslide management spv special purpose vehicle for landslide management right so these are the components of these are the components of of national landslide risk management strategy 2060 right so that is about the body part of the answer and then in conclusion Uh, we can write about use of technology we can use uh, 
uh, sensors. We can use, let's say, uh, uh, remote sensing technology in order to monitor regions which are vulnerable to uh, which are vulnerable to landslide. Right. Also, uh, there is a need to make sure that the uh, the guidelines given by NDMA are enforced on the ground. We should not uh, we should not have the uh, we should not uh, uh, we we should be able to come up with uh, come up with the mechanism which will ensure that there is proper implementation of these guidelines given by NDMA for for landslide management. Right. So on the basis of uh, use of technology and proper implementation of NDMA guidelines, we will be able to handle disasters in a proper manner. Right. So that should be the approach for this particular question. Now, on the basis of this question, one should be able to approach uh, the conceptual part of disasters. Right. So, uh, what are the probable questions? What are the probable questions on the question uh, based on the question that we have discussed? So, for example, probable question may be on cyclone. Probable question may be on cyclone wherein importance of uh, Indian National Center for Ocean Information uh, Services, where wherein importance of Indian National Center, Indian National Center for for ocean information services sorry it's not on uh, cyclones it's on tsunami right so it is for tsunami right importance of national uh, indian national center for ocean information services that is i n t o i s which is there at hyderabad so this may be a question wherein you may be asked what are the uh, causes and effects of uh, tsunami in that plain manner but there may be a question on tsunami uh, and also you may be asked about the importance of uh, early warning system that we have established at incois uh, located in hyderabad Right, so that may be the question. That may be the probable question. Second probable question may be on, let's say, cyclones, where again you may be asked about the mechanism uh, on the basis of which cyclones are formed, and then uh, what is the importance of national cyclone risk mitigation project? National cyclone risk mitigation project risk mitigation project right so importance of national cyclone risk mitigation project or what are the important components of national cyclone risk mitigation project may also be asked right so uh, this way you should approach for various questions uh, especially uh, from this particular subject of disaster management and on the basis of this approach, you will be able to understand uh, how you should frame a strategy for this particular subject uh, of disaster management. Right. So that is about this class. Thank you.